Yo, what's up, Freeze Army, and welcome to the Silent Assassin suit only walkthrough of Bangkok done on the professional difficulty. My name is Mr. Freeze2244. For this one, we're going to bring along our lethal poison vial, our coins, and the Kruger Meyer. And we're going to start in any suit you choose from and from the Riverside Landing. So, first of all, you need to keep remembering is. Uh, the main entrance, if you go through there, you will get spotted by a camera 100% of the time, purely because there's two cameras on either side of the atrium, so we're going to avoid that central area, and we're going to go around. Now we're going to approach the uh, the, the, bar, uh, the the bar, the buffet bar, I'm not completely what it's sure what it's called, but we're going to pull out a coin and throw it to, to the right of the, uh, the chef, and then we're going to poison the dish that is right in front of the two red bottles. So we threw that coin to distract both of those chefs there, so they're taking away their attention on you. So you don't need to worry about them um, spotting you there. So then we can move our head and go up to the uh, next floor. And then we're going to run through this uh, restaurant area and up through the next floor. We're going to go across the roof to get to where Jordan Cross is going to be. And once you come through this door, there's going to be a camera right above it. So you want to shoot that out. Quickly pull out your coin. Crouch right to the end of this uh, area here, and then throw the coin as high as you can in that direction, just to get these two gardeners to turn around. And now we're going to crouch, walk past them, circle around, and just stay slowly, stay nice and calm. Don't rush, because if you do rush, the faster they'll spot you. You will get a little bit suspicious there, but don't worry about it. Just go nice and slowly. Now, once you're in this area, pick up that pool ball off the table, and uh, you know, get your Kruger Mara once you go behind this big box, and then shoot that camera out. Switch covers and then go to the end of this uh, area here. And we're going to wait for, use our instinct and wait for that guy by the TV to turn around. And there's going to be a guy in the bathroom just coming out now. So we're just going to wait for that guy to turn around. Once he does, we can crouch and walk through the room. Again, there's going to be a person that gets a slightly suspicious, but keep calm. Just crouch and walk through this room and stay close to the wall as you can. Close that door right there and subdue the gentleman that's in the room. Once you've done that, we're just going to drag his body nearer to the actual balcony just to reward him um, getting seen through a door or anything like that. And then we're going to climb along this ledge here and go up the pipe. And once you get to the top of the pipe, there's going to be two guards guarding a door to the right where we need to go. Now you need to watch out for them because them two have very random head turnings. You know, they turn their head left and right and stuff like that. So you need to watch out for that. Uh, it can disrupt the uh, next chain of events. So you need to watch out for that. So watch out for these two guards. Make sure they're facing forward as you pass through this, this area here into this little bathroom. These two are going to keep coming in here every now and then. So what we're going to actually do is wait for the hen to come in first. And then we'll take out the, uh, the two people on the mini-map. So you can see on the mini-map, you'll see two people to our right. And they're the two people we need to take out. And there's going to be the two guards patrolling coming in and out. So we'll wait for those two guards to leave. And then we'll distract the other two one by one. And then uh, knock them out. And then hide their body in the crate. Also, at, uh, at this point, I recommend if you haven't done it already, make a save right here because this is going to be the uh, the main part you can easily mess up. So I recommend putting a save out here, just for your information. And then once they've left the room, what we're going to need to do is pull out our coin and throw it uh, on the floor just like that. But make sure the coin is landing on their side of the uh, of the room because if you do it inside the bathroom, for some reason they don't hear you, so you just need to watch out for that. Now wait for this guy to come as close to the door as possible and wait for the subdue option to pop up on your screen and then just tap that square button and then you'll subdue him from around the corner. You do it any earlier or do it when the subdue option is not popping up on the screen then you will suffer from the punch glitch where you just punch him in the face instead of actually subduing him. So once we've dragged his body and dumped him in the uh, into the closet right there we're just going to wait in this area again again waiting for the guards to come back in. Then we're going to wait for them to turn around and go back out then we're going to take out the other guard uh, the other crew member exactly the same way. So all we're doing at the moment is just rinse and repeat because all we're doing at the moment is just waiting for Jordan Cross to come back down to the sound booth and we're going to take him out there and then hide him into this bathroom as well. So now they're both left we can go and take out the other crew guy exactly the same way as we did before throw the coin on the floor high behind the corner and uh, you'll obviously experience another problem as well like if they don't come close enough for the subdued option to pop up on your screen you can wait for them to turn around and subdue me that, that way if it's not popping up for you 
that can happen. I've experienced it must before myself. So uh, you don't need to worry. Just wait for them to turn around and they can subdue them that way. But if you're lucky enough, you can subdue them around the corner just like I did. But once you've done that, we can just wait around this area. I'm going to pick up that wrench there as well. Jordan Cross is just about to come down now. So what we're actually going to do is uh, we're going to kill him and then drag his body in the bathroom because if we leave it in the sound booth, his body does get found. So we have to move that body. That is Jordan Cross. Revealed and so just crouch, walk up to him, and then subdue him and snap his neck. Then we're going to drag his body into the bathroom. Again, just watch out for the two guards that keep coming in. Because currently there are two guards in there now. Just going to wait for them to leave before we dump him in the little cubicle that was in the corner where we was previously hiding. Just tuck him in the corner as much as you can, and then his body should be nice and safe there. best way to tuck him in the corner is by grabbing his leg once he's in his position and just trying to pull him into the corner like that. His body should be nice and safe there so you shouldn't need to worry. When you come through this door watch out for the, again for the head turning. It can be random so you need to watch out for that but make sure you be nice and slowly as you pass through the section. Don't rush. If you crouch run you, they will hear your footsteps and they will instantly turn around so don't panic. Just take your time. We're just going to slide down this pipe one floor and go back the way we came. Watch out for the, all the crew guys in that room. You want them to be in the same position as there was when you came in, so everyone facing the other way. It all looks fine to me when you're looking when they're all facing that way. So again, just crouch, walk nice and calmly through the room, and you should be going around nice and easily. And once you're at this point, you're pretty much home free. So we've got one more coin left we can use. So we're going to crouch, run onto the rooftop, and then there's going to be a gardener on here. So we're just going to throw the coin to his right. He's going to turn around, and he's, we're just going to bypass him. Again, crouch walking. Do not run or crouch run because the E will hear your footsteps until you're quite far away. From here on out, what you're going to do now is just head to the exit. We're going to head to the basement exit because they've added, um, <laughs> they've changed the, how the exits work on the professional difficulty on uh, on Bangkok. So at the end of the at the end of the pier, there's going to be two guards guarding the boat, and you need a speedboat key. I don't know where that is, but it's also a trespassing area, so you can't get through that way without a disguise. So we, the only other option we've got for us is to go to the basement exit, but that is guarded by two guards and a camera, so again, we can just work our little bit of magic to get out of the basement exit, but at least it's more doable than the boat exit. So as you've seen there, we just retraced our steps through the restaurant and back the way we came up through, because if we went through the main atrium, we would have been spotted by the cameras, that's why we came back that way. Now this guard here it can be a little bit annoying because he looks directly at you. If he, You don't want him to spot you going into the basement because it's obviously a trespassing area. That's why he's there. So wait for him to look straight forward before going in. He can troll you every now and then as he, as he looks right and left. But just make sure you can uh, his head's facing straight before you're going in. We're going to shoot that camera there. That's going to distract one guard that's over here in the corner. What we want him to do is use the peekaboo technique and of getting him to see you. And just before he completely spots you, move out of the way and he will come straight over to this area. Once he's finished investigating he's going to turn around and that's when we're going to subdue him. It's a good way to isolate the guards. And once we've subdued him we're going to pull out either the pool ball or the wrench and just throw it at the other guard's head. And once you've done that we can just head straight to the exit right here and that will complete your silent assassin suit only uh, challenges complete for the professional difficulty on Bangkok. Obviously mine hasn't popped up because I've already done it. But anyway, that's going to do it for this video. So thank you very much for watching. Feel free to drop a like and subscribe here if you are new. And I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.